Hi everyone, uh, so slightly different video we've got for you today. Um, we've got Chris Paisley, my brother here, who's one of the best putters on the European Tour, has been a putting's consistently one of the best parts of his game. So we thought it'd be a good idea to just share with some of the things that he works on, you know, the basics that he does in every putting session and also some of the things that help him to develop a strong mindset for putting and help him to believe that he's a really good putter. So um, Chris is out there in Florida with these indoor putting stations. So Chris, if you could just talk us through yeah. some of the stuff you've got going on there. Yeah, hi everyone. So um, yeah, this is a very typical setup that I use both here and in the practice putting green and at tournaments. So first thing is the laser, which uh, draws a lovely straight line right down my target line. Obviously there's a chalk line you know, when I'm on a putting green. Uh, I've got my gate here, which tells me whether or not I'm starting the ball online and I've got a mirror which kind of you know, I can see my exact head position and, and shoulder alignment and, and eye line and all that stuff and the, you know the first thing and probably the main thing that we work on is um, getting a really good consistent setup so and it starts with the grip uh, drill I like to do is to kind of stand as if I was going to hit a putt and just my, let my arms hang down very relaxed and naturally and then just grip the putter you know, and that just means the kind of grip is very neutral, the, the palms are facing each other, and you know, it means I can just kind of rock my shoulders and, and just make a very simple and consistent stroke. And if you look at it from kind of this angle, you should hopefully see that you know, my alignment of my feet is very neutral. My knees, my hips, I have my forearms, and my wrists in a nice position where the putter is effectively just an extension of my forearm, and my shoulders, and also my head position and, and eye line should be very neutral. And that's just the, the basis that we kind of start from to, you know, give me the best chance of putting a really consistent, solid stroke on it. So, yeah, I just kind of, I do this pretty much every day, you know, get open, uh, make sure, you know, my setup is neutral, everything's in the right place, eye line's good, and then I'll just hit some puts and try and get it through the gate. You mentioned eye line there, Chris, like, eye line's a huge part of what you work on and what we work on and keep... Keep an eye on you. Just tell us quickly uh, your thoughts on that. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, a big tendency of mine is to tilt my head to the right. Obviously, this is very exaggerated, but that then kind of causes alignment issues, which in turn causes all sorts of, um, yeah, issues in my stroke where I've got to compensate. So, yeah, we work really hard on, on making sure that, you know, the line of my eyes is, is matching that, that line of the laser there, and I use the mirror to do that. Um, and that just really helps. It really helps my aim. When when my eye line is good, generally I aim really well, and that's a obviously a huge thing in in putting. I think uh, there's obviously so many different ways to put. There's some great putters that put completely different ways. So there's there's obviously more than one way to do. But I think the key thing that we've touched on there is the consistency and your mindset. They're like doing the basics brilliantly. You, you we've done this setup procedure for so many times. You've hit hundreds of thousands of puts with with this same kind of mentality with that that mindset of doing the basics brilliantly and I think that's however you do it do it consistently well and 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 you you will you will def definitely develop some consistency and skill if you if you hit enough puts doing that and I think the other thing yeah. which is so important for you Chris is your belief in your putting and can you just talk us through a little bit about how how you've become to believe you're such a good putter yeah, so and we've discussed this a lot and what you see a lot of amateurs and even really top quality pros do is just kind of hit the putts really aimlessly on the putt and green. You know, they're not really, they don't seem to have a plan. You know, they're just kind of, you know, they're not really achieving anything. So obviously we have all this stuff which kind of takes care of the, the technical side of things. But then we've talked a lot about bringing in a bit of pressure and consequence into my practice, and which, you know, isn't, easy to do and it's obviously difficult to match the same pressure that I get in tournaments but uh, one thing we started doing is uh, measuring basically my success rate of getting it through the gate so every time I kind of have this set up you know pretty much every day in practice and I will get 20 putts from about 10 feet and measure how many I got through the gate and I'll even make a note of which side of the gate that I hit and then I'll hit 20 putts from about 30 feet and, and do the same thing and and we, well, you now have, um, you know, record gone back quite a long time now of, um, you know, every single time I've done this drill, which um, just to me adds a bit of consequence to what I'm doing, you know, rather than 
sung there for an hour trying to get 20 in a row. I know I've got 20 putts to get us you know, hopefully 20 through the gate and just adds that little bit of pressure and consequence. And I think, you know, that kind of, that mindset of deliberate practice is so important. You know, you're so much better off practicing really deliberately and really well for a short period of time than you are just aimlessly at putts on a putting green for, you know, you could be doing it all day, and but you'll be doing yourself more harm than good. Absolutely. And I think that's the thing with, you know, obviously with what's going on at the minute is the practice has to feel important. And if people aren't playing much golf mm -hmm. and they're doing some practice, you can go through the motions of it. And I, I think if you're ever going through the motions with any kind of practice, if you're doing it to have fun, then that's fine. But if you're doing it to build skill and you're serious about developing your your, your technique, then you've got to be switched on. So measuring your practice is a really good way to to build self-belief if you know that you, you can see your numbers improving so just take a little note it down in your iphone in your notes section just how many out of 20 that you can that you're converting um 20 puts is a good number uh, that we like to work with i think you can stand there too too long and hit too many puts so yeah i think measuring it and building belief that way is uh, is probably one of the most powerful ways so uh, Chris, that's been amazing. Thank you for sharing some of the insights into your putting. Um, we'll maybe dive into the technical nice. stuff a little bit more another time, but um, some great setup stuff there, some great mindset things to think of. If anyone's got any questions, uh, please feel free to get in touch. But Chris, thanks for giving up your time to talk to us. No problem. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Chris.